Should I be c concerned about not being able to withdraw BSVs from the Exodus wallet? All right, this is going to be a follow-up from the video I made about a month ago regarding the, not me personally, not being able to withdraw on Exodus BSV. Saturday, I got a phone call from my buddy Art. He asked me this question after seeing the video on YouTube. And I, uh, in response to that, you know, I, I haven't been able to withdraw. No. Now, do I believe that it's possible? I do. Uh, am I educated enough to know how? No, but I will do this. I'm going to share a video right now from a guy who I do personally know, Kurt Walker, Ju Walker Jr. And he's going to explain exactly how, how to, how he believes or how, he, how it's supposed to work. So let me share that right now. To this wallet having constant issues with BSV. Two things. No, you shouldn't be concerned. There's magic thumbs up. Again, um, you shouldn't be concerned. Your private keys are yours. You can export your private keys from Exodus wallet, and then you can import those keys into your Electrum SV wallet and you can get your coins out. What's going on with um, Exodus is they are using a light node provider. Nodes or, or any one of these other providers that just have a BSV node and they expose APIs and let people connect to their node. The problem is, is that now nodes or whoever they're using uh, is not keeping their BSV node in sync. And the reason they're not keeping it in sync is there's a lot of RAM requirements in CPU, especially big. This is what the small blockers are always talking about for you know why we need to keep keep the blockchain really, really small because we want companies like now nodes to just be able to set it and forget it. Sybils to be able to easily attack. We want you to know that if your node is on the network, it is very likely to be an honest node, a, a good Byzantine general. So um, on the one hand, like, yes, it's okay to be critical of Exodus because they've now spent like six months or more being like, yeah, 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 there's a fix coming. And then they just kind of I don't do anything about it. So they're kind of dragging people along, which I don't appreciate. I really like the Exodus people. I've always liked them. I've kind of had a casual relationship with them for a long time. So I'm a little in danger. And I don't think that it's malicious. I think it's literally like they just kind of don't care. Because uh, uh, they're doing... Couldn't be any worse of a possible recording there. Uh, to share with you guys, I'll post a link to that video. It's a long video, but from CoinGeek with Kurt describing it. And I'll post, and you could find my interview with Kurt that I did as well on this channel, you know, going through things. So he'll at least, you know, you'll find it, the video to CoinGeek, walk through it there. And, and there's, it sounds to me like, according to Kurt, uh, that it is absolutely, the keys are safe on, on Exodus. It's just uh, extremely inconvenient. And they make you, uh, you need to learn this, uh, this, this technical maneuver of how to move the keys, the coins through an Electrum SV wallet. That's a, like a new skill that would need to be learned to do in order to, in order to move them around. It's not just a simple withdrawal. As clearly we know, we've tried to withdraw, it doesn't work. So that being said, sounds like they're safe there, but uh, we can't get them off until you learn this extra skill. I'll, I'll post, a post a link to the CoinGeek video at the end. If you like this video, leave a comment below, hit the like button, share the video, get it out there with other, everybody else, man. And I'll leave a hand cash link in the video below for donations of Bitcoin SV, baby. This is Gavin Mail. I will see you at the very top.